home studio sound absorption is important. Yes, absolutely. Home studio sound absorption is expensive. No, it's not really. My name is Matcha. I'm with Matcha Creative, Audio Slayer, VoiceOver. And I wanted to show you how I just gave my studio a little facelift and I made six new acoustic panels. Super high quality, super huge, professional grade for under $150. Yeah. Five items. Roxel Rockboard 60, wood, fabric, wood screws, staples. It's super easy and actually kind of fun. First thing we do is we take our sides. Um, so this is going to be like that when it's on the wall. And we're gonna put a couple of holes in it before we screw because we don't want to uh, split the wood. So when you're done making your holes, you have two holes right here. And then you're just gonna put them boop, on top. You're gonna wanna put the sides on top of the middle um, because you, when you hang them, you're gonna hang them from over here. So you want that weight to be on the side instead of the top of it so it doesn't fall down because they're pretty heavy. So you have your corner. You're gonna do it again on this side. Make sure that the small piece is in the middle, not on the top like that, that small piece in the middle. And then I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. So we have the panel put together with the little pieces on the inside, everything's screwed down. Um, when we went to Joanne, we picked a fabric that is breathable. So literally what I did in the store, I don't know if I would recommend this, but it would pull the piece of fabric and breathe through it. Um, and if you can breathe through it easily, then it's actually, it's really good for acoustic panels um, because you want to be able, the sound be able to get in there. Um, so yeah, so this, this fabric is the same and uh, we had them cut one yard per panel. We pull the fabric over here, okay? You pull it over and then you take your staple gun you staple, okay? Then you take this little corner piece right here, you flop it over, and then you staple. Now you have this nice seam right here, and this is gonna be the part that is to make it look pretty on the side. It's not gonna be, I mean, super pretty unless you're a master upholsterer, but so you pull this guy down and then now we put the Roxel in um, but wear gloves because it's like fiberglass material and it's you know icky there you go this is gonna be against the wall it's really tight in there so you don't have to put anything on the back of it you can put something on the back if you want, um, like a strap or, you know, little blockers on the side, but it's really not necessary if it fits as tight as this does. And then we'll hang them. All right, so here we are in my studio. These are my old panels, which we're going to be reupholstering and moving downstairs, just so you can see the difference. This is a thicker wood. This is one by four. These are one by threes. So we're just gonna hang it. We have two nails on the wall. You could also use monkey hooks. Um, they make a less, imprint in the wall when they, you know, we put them in and they're strong as hell, but our monkey hooks are in a different spot right now, so we're just using nails. So up it goes on the nails, hang it like a picture, and there you go. 